Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bigger Than Race. Exposure to all things truth, whether you like it or not. With unique perspectives from different beings from all walks of life. This is Bigger Than Race. Investigate truth on your own terms. Welcome back to Bigger Than Race. You know who this is. This is your boy, Brando. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, it's all about the reciprocation of love. So if you are hearing my voice, hit that goddamn like button and subscribe to the channel. It's about reciprocation. And I'm only going to say it one time. Now you can see on the screen the crypto candy. The crypto candy shop. I'll take you to the candy shop. I'll let you in one more time. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, crypto candy is what we are presenting today. And we're going to get you caught up on all of the candy. Now, we're going to touch in on Singularity Net, V Chain, Stellar, Tron, Hadera Hashgraph, and Cardano. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go. What is Singularity Net and how it enables AI for all? It is an increasingly common fact that artificial intelligence is the future. Organizations are moving towards automation of many job roles to reduce costs and improve efficiencies. One business is taking this to a whole new level. What is Singularity Net? The question remains what exactly is Singularity Net? Singularity Net is a company that serves as a decentralized marketplace for artificial intelligence algorithms. It is the first ever platform that allows developers and organizations to monetize and subsequently buy or sell artificial intelligence algorithms, and more importantly it does so on a large scale. A decentralized market is a permissionless, self-executing market that allows global transaction of anything. In the case of SingularityNet, what makes it unique is that it allows the transaction of artificial intelligence. Singularity Net works for the benefit of all individuals and is a non-profit organization whose aim is to give access to a global network of artificial intelligence algorithms, services, and agents. It does not matter what background a person has, they can sell their AI services on the Singularity Net platform and anyone can purchase these services. For the first two years, Singularity Net was primarily focused on cloud robotics, biomedical research, and cybersecurity. Perhaps they are most famous for their robotic partner, Sophia. The Singularity Net Network powers the notorious Sophia robot, who has appeared on multiple talk shows and wowed audiences with her uncanny humanistic characteristics. Dr. Ben Goetzel leads the organization as the CEO and its chief scientists. He has been behind Hanson Robotics as well, which is a partnership that brought Sophia to existence. The core team behind Singularity Net has more than 50 members who themselves combine to have more than 10 doctorates. Singularity Net uses an AGI cryptocurrency to buy and sell AI services on the platform. Holding an AGI token also gives individuals the right to vote on Singularity Net. There are Singularity Net agents that execute smart contracts for buying and selling the services. Over time, the hope is these agents can be self-organizing and can bring agents together to produce an integrated service, such as combining transcribing a video and then summarizing what it means in text form. Eventually, it may be possible for the AI agents to create new forms of AI agents that may be more sophisticated. In February 2021, the token holders voted to double the supply of tokens, creating 1 billion new AGI tokens with the vote. This was deemed the Singularity Net Phase 2. The new tokens are used to incentivize positive contributions to the platform, such as providing medical data to be used for AI data analysis. Users are also rewarded with tokens if they provide their computer processing power to help run the AI networks on the platform. A deep funding pool was also created with the new tokens which stands for Decentralized Ecosystem Projects Funding. The funding can be used to fund projects that are voted on by owners of the AGI tokens. Their goal is to compete with large tech companies that are providing trillions of dollars to race forward in AI development. They want to become the democratic and decentralized alternative to big tech. Some of the tools that have been built with SingularityNet have included a song splitter app that automatically separates vocal and instrumental tracks into separate files. They have produced the Rejuve app, which monitors anomalies in an individual's biosignals and alerts them if they have early indicators of COVID. 
they are in the process of creating nursing assistance in collaboration with Hanson Robotics. In 2019, Singularity Net even partnered with Domino's Pizza in Malaysia and Singapore to use their algorithms to expand their business in the region. How does it work? If you are looking for an artificial intelligence solution for your business needs, the Singularity Net platform has three simple steps to choose and integrate your desired artificial intelligence. Here are the steps that you need to follow. Step 1. Searching for your artificial intelligence, AI. The first step is to look for your desired artificial intelligence algorithm from a selection of AI that is made available on the platform. You have a choice of searching for your desired AI using type, service provider, or rating. Step 2. Trial phase for your chosen AI. The best thing about the Singularity Net platform is that it allows you to test run your chosen AI before you decide to make the final purchase. This is the second step of the process, where you can get a demonstration of how the AI works, what it entails, etc. Step 3. Rate and review. The process of AI selection and integration is not finished yet. This is perhaps the most important step when it comes to AI development and advancement. Once you have used the AI, you have to rate and review it. It is ideal that you leave suggestions and recommendations for the developers to improve upon the algorithms as well as design. Why choose SingularityNet? SingularityNet attempts to address many of the criticisms that exist against AI development, including that it is only available for a select few wealthy organizations. There are numerous advantages of using the SingularityNet platform. Let's have a look at the advantages. Access. AI agents have access to scarce databases, which can then be used for multiple purposes for the benefit of your organization. Pushing boundaries. AI tools allow us to push boundaries and tap into emergent intelligence and technologies that were previously inaccessible. Accuracy. Now you don't have to worry about data inconsistencies as AI assists in accurate information processing. Speed and efficiency. It is no secret that with the help of AI, all process and information analysis can be done at a faster speed and more efficiently. AI is a solution that more companies will use in the future, and the Singularity Net platform is one step towards it. Ladies and gentlemen, you hear the bullishness of Singularity Net. Singularity Net. Now, let's hear a little bit more from Ben over here as they talk about Terminators, Terminator 3's Nick Stahl interviews Ben Gortzel about building Skynet on the Cardano blockchain. Ladies and gentlemen, are we living in a movie or what? If you want to just build robots that will do what humans do more efficiently, but AI is willing to repurpose humanity's molecules to make, you know, more hard drive space for themselves. Seems that, like that could happen. That's for the analog of us bulldozing down the ants to build our house. On the other hand, you could have an, an AGI or ASI, even though it's way smarter than us, but it it respects us as its ancestors and, and creators and wants to preserve us, just like we want to preserve a national park with like trees and, and squirrels and, and, and chimpanzees, right? I, I mean, we, we want to preserve that national park out of our own ethics and aesthetics, not, not because the animals in the national park are, are like functionally useful to us. Or, so I mean, I think you could have advanced AIs that are malevolent, indifferent, or benevolent toward humanity. I mean, it, it could go any way, and I think we can influence what way it goes by by what we do right now, which is, is why I'm building. AI and aiming to build AGI as well as no AI on Cardano because I think a decentralized democratic platform is gives us the best odds of directing increasingly intelligent AI in a, in a positive way. And that's a difference from Skynet, right? I mean, Skynet in, in the movie, for what it's worth, Skynet was a centralized yeah. proprietary system. It wasn't a democratic, open and, and, and decentralized system. And I think that gets in like the difference between distributed computing and decentralized computing, right? Distributed computing means you're running across a bunch of different computers and using them together for computing process, but the governance doesn't have to be democratic or, or decentralized. It can be controlled by one guy or one software process. And Skynet 
Skynet was more like that. It's made be like cyber does. It's made by a proprietary company to make money by providing services. And that's quite different than a decentralized democratic network in terms of how the thing is coordinated. And that difference may be important for, you know, whether we get to a bad or good outcome from this whole progress of, of AI. So is, is uh, just to, uh, to clarify your particular niche in this, in this industry is, is AGI. Something like what you described as ASI, the super intelligence is more or less, um, the stuff of, of, of movies kind of theoretical. Um, or is this, uh, it's you, the stuff of movies and mathematics theorems now. Like there's a guy named Marcus Suter. He has a book on universal AI. So you can have, you can actually more easily make a rigorous math theory of super intelligences than of human level intelligences, which is sort of ironic because in, in a way, once you become that smart, then your intelligence is simpler to describe it and, and, and reason about. So there, there's some real science theory about superintelligence. But yeah, engineering wise, the path is going to be more like narrow AI, go beyond narrow AI to AGI, then the AGI is going to figure out how to engineer the superintelligence, right? So that's, uh, there's, you can't do much engineering work on super intelligence now, but you can do math theory work, which is, which is, is interesting. And yeah, my, my most unique niche as an AI researcher has been my focus on general intelligence. I mean, I, I introduced the term AGI 15 years ago or something and have, uh, have been organizing an annual AGI conference series. So I've been one of the leading voices maybe the leading one pushing toward general intelligence. And now in the last few years, I've pretty much been the leading voice pushing for, well, let's make sure narrow AI now and AGI tomorrow is decentralized and, and democratically operated, which is where blockchain come, comes into the picture because blockchain is sort of the mathematical and software plumbing you need to do to create complex decentralized software processes. Oh, uh, processes. Everything is processes and processes. Now, I advise anybody to go and rewatch this hour long video. It's very bullish. Just type in Terminator 3's Nick Stahl interviews Ben Gorza, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm sure it will pop up. Now, look at the Cardano ecosystem. When you talk about bigger than race, you're talking about the big things, big things popping. And if you dealing with bigger than race, your portfolio will pop more than a stripper's booty. Shake that booty. Shake, shake that booty. Anyways, you see the Cardano ecosystem, enterprise and business. Look at all of this. I, I even forget that they have this big bullish ecosystem. And many of us wouldn't realize it because we don't hear about all the partnerships. They have many NDAs that they can't speak on things. But just take a look. You got all this stuff going on. DeFi, Market Solution, Alliance, Funding, Community Tools, Oracles, Core Organizations, Research, Education, Ouroboros Consensus, Wallets, Research Centers, Dev Resources, Languages, Security Audits, the list goes on and on. Now, Cardano added to Bloomberg Terminal. Investors scrutinized the asset. This was on March 15, 2021. Cardano has shown up on the Bloomberg Terminal. Already experiencing a tremendous surge, the addition should give the asset even more exposure. The project is expected to launch the next phase of its roadmap, Gogan, in the months to come. Now, this is major validation for the Ethereum competitor. Twitter users posted screenshots of the Cardano inclusion on March 15th. The images includes a brief explanation of what Cardano is and how it works. Cardano's next upgrade will introduce smart contracts. This is bullish. And we're getting ready for the Cardano moonshot. ADA has been one of the best performers in the ongoing bull market. Currently, ADA is ranked sixth in terms of market cap, but for the past few weeks, it was trending in third place. 
Prices have dipped slope slightly over the past 24 hours, but remain significantly higher than their pre-2021 levels. Now let's continue. Global healthcare platform asked the doctor to use Cardano for world's first utility healthcare token in Africa. See, they always ask for the things that are the best, regardless of what people may think at the current time, regardless of your opinions or thoughts. The truth is the truth, and receipts are the receipts. I advise you to make sure you have some Cardano, because at the dollar mark that it's at, ladies and gentlemen, it will not be there any longer. Now, we see that the doctors are requesting for the usage of Cardano. I'm not going to read this whole thing. I'm not even going to read it. I just want to highlight to you because you can look that up yourself. But here, Coinbase exploring support for 43 altcoins after addition of crypto asset Cardano. Now, we know Coinbase has the Coinbase custody, and then they also have assets that they are thinking about adding either to the exchange or to the custody now here is a list of coins that are in custody and coins that could be added they have argon are we digibyte horizon live peeper live peer keep origin protocol render token see a coin v chain Amp, Anchor, Audius, BitTorrent, Curve. I'm not going to say everything, but just Movie Block, Neo, Nervos, NKN, Ontology, Reserve Rights, Request Network, Terra Luna, Tron, TRX, V Chain, Wink. Make sure you get your bags packed. Make sure you get your bags packed. Now, moving on to Stellar, and you know I'm the Stellar King. Let's talk about Stellar should become how NFTs are minted. Let's just look at this video because it talks about NFT potential is real for gaming, music publishing industry, solving licensing, distribution with crypto markets. They disintermediate, intermediate, disintegrate. Disengage million of businesses from platforms that control their paychecks. Now we need realism. All right, let's look at the video. <laughs> NFTs coming to the Stella. Yeah, everybody's jumping in on the NFT movement. Now, more with Stellar News from March 16th. Stellar Development Foundation Enterprise Fund invests in Nigeria-based Kauri, which we already know this has been taking place for quite some time, but you know they have to release, release, re-release the news. An investment will help facilitate growing remittance corridors and promote public-private partnership in pursuit of regulatory clarity. Kyrie Exchange and Stellar Development Foundation. It's all bullish news, ladies and gentlemen. All bullish news. Now we see Travala.com. You can now pay with XLM using Binance Pay. 10% cash back and travel credits. They always choose the one and only Stellar. Now, Bridge Oracle launches first public Oracle on Tron blockchain. Don't sleep. The Bridge Oracle will function with the help of its native token dubbed the BRG token issued back in August 2020. Uh, Bridge Oracle, a protocol that aims to serve as a chain link alternative on the Tron blockchain, is live after it successfully launched its mainnet on Thursday, March 11th. Per the protocol's official blog report, the new network will allow users to deploy Real world dApps on Tron through its Oracle system. Boy, Tron is a beast. He is a beast. Justin's son, I don't know what you over there doing, 
But boy, you are smart. Oh, you're a smart man. He's so smart. I mean, like, smart, smart. Blockchain technology is unique in its own right, creating a fundamental innovation center on decentralization for which many developers are using to create solutions to real world problems. However, while blockchain creations showcase their functionalities, they lack the easy means to connect with off chain systems, thus limiting their deployment for mainstream enterprise use. The Ethereum developers were able to find a solution to this problem through the Chainlink Oracle, and after much research, Bridge Oracle is bringing similar solutions for decentralized finance applications built on the Tron blockchain. The mainnet launch will allow you to deploy real-world connected dApps using Bridge Oracle on the Tron network. The spokesperson from Bridge Oracle stated, It's about time you start to prep by creating your dApps on Shasta and now test nets. We will soon be coming up with more updates. Ooh, Tron, Tron, Tron. Now, VEX Exchange is modified to become the foundation of DeFi on VeChain and rival Ethereum's DeFi landscape. Wow, looks like everybody wants to rival VeChain. I mean, Ethereum. And you know they have the capabilities and ecosystems in order to do it. But how many people can see the vision? How many people can see that it's all bigger than race? How many people can see the bigger picture? Now, according to Raleigh, California, a VeChain developer, a decision was taken to overhaul the VEX exchange through an update, which brought about its latest version. In order to become the foundation of decentralized finance on VeChain blockchain and rival the DeFi landscape of Ethereum, the reasons for VEX exchange version 2, according to the developer and blog post published on Medium, March 2021. VEX Exchange was originally launched about 2.5 years ago as a V-Though.Exchange, a popular easy-to-swap service on the V-Chain. It was due to the success of V-Though Exchange that brought VEX Exchange to life in the V-Chain ecosystem. And that decentralized exchange is a modified hard fork of Uniswap version 1, said Raleigh. Despite the success recorded by VEX Exchange, it hasn't been the massive force we had hoped for. Developers said the first version of the decentralized exchange failed to garner much needed popularity. The initial expectation of creating VEX Exchange is to give users the means to build decentralized applications on VeChain, which have the capability to rival Ethereum's DeFi landscape. But this has obviously not played out yet. All the points listed above constitute the reason for the update version of VEX Exchange. Now, According to the VeChain developer, VeChain V2 comes with the features such as price oracles, flash loans, token to token pairs, and will be integrated with Sync2, among other features. Moreover, the update says Vex Exchange V2 is coming with a governance token. Ooh, as the update stated, considering the list of features mentioned above, Vex Exchange is now a modified fork of Uniswap version 2. Although this update will not totally turn VEX Exchange to Uniswap V2, as VeChain itself has several key distinctive features that differentiate it from Ethereum. VEX Exchange V2 inherently will have features that differentiate it from Uniswap 2. Ooh, big news, baby. Big news. Now, let's see the live test of Live Kana, uh, which has a hundred, a thousand MG CBD oil verified on VeChain through realitems.io. And we showed you this in a, about this partnership in a recent video. But let's look. Oh, you are now verified on VeChain. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Blockchain technology. Oh, man. Your product is now authenticated. Now, let's continue. VeChain, two years ahead of newly announced Carbon. Yeah, there was a release uh, about VeChain and the Decarbonize the World initiative going on in China. Let's listen to uh, the, a little bit of this video real quick.
Uh, so we're going to read some of his, uh, his tweets here on this post. From Sunny Lou, I believe that blockchain and VeChain can really change this sector and bring it to the next level, which has been quote unquote floating for many years. The key change will be to digitize individuals' effort to sustainability. And education is not enough for sure, but incentives will do. Okay? And the key to do proper and accurate incentive for everyone's action is blockchain. And VeChain is way ahead to be ready for this, not only with the proper uh, tools to collect and digitize the actions, but also reputable partners leading by DMV, etc. Okay, I'm just going to read a little bit more. Last one. I believe this initiative could be one of the greatest exports from China to the whole world by uniting everyone in the world to make the better future planet for our children before Elon Musk takes us to Mars. That's hilarious. Great. That's a uh, that's fantastic. Uh, that's funny. All right. So, uh, and also just side note, thinking for crypto, please follow him. He's awesome. I love Tony. He's been, he's an OG. Uh, I think he got something wrong with this decarbonization and carbon neutral five year plan. We're going to go now and take a partnership dive into DMV. And so DMV, we've uh, spoken about DMV before on this channel in regards to VeChain. More importantly, the biggest thing is, and look, there's Sunny Lou right there, is the My Story. And so My Story is a very powerful solution that VeChain has developed. Um, basically, I'm gonna read a little bit here. My Story starts with defining the story to be told. It can be about sustainability, quality, authenticity, okay? And for authentic, I think the biggest one is authenticity, right? Because with authenticity, you can verify, like they were saying here, workers' rights, right? To make sure that the companies that produce these goods are ethical with workers' rights. Also, for example, cosmetic products, right? Are these animal-tested uh, free products? Okay, so animal welfare, ecological footprint, origin of story, um, food safety, all of that stuff can now be verified, right? And so not only, this is twofold, right? So not only is this very powerful solution, obviously, for good players, right? But this also starts to muscle out and squeeze out the bad actors in all of these industries, right? From, uh, you know, fake luxury items to fake wine, which we will show a video of here soon with my story. Uh, fake cosmetic products and, and so forth. It, it is huge for that. Um, so what does my story do, right? As a service, right? We got data collection, access to product information for consumers, which is huge, obviously, for people that, for the consumer that does not care about the back end aspect of it. Enterprise and product ID issued, product story shared in the my story DAP, verification of activities and data, which is through DMV GL and it's all stored on the blockchain on VeChain. So if we go back here, uh, there's a little um, video here, and this is one application of the My Story. And uh, this is, it's an older video, but it still shows a very good example of, for example, uh, in this circumstance, the wine industry utilizing My Story and VeChain technology. So let's go ahead. Let's listen.
All right, awesome. So this does um, this does remind me when I was a little. You just see the bullishness of V Chain. That's all we can say. It's just nothing but bullishness. Sunny Loop blockchain and V Chain can be a game changer in the quest to decarbonize the world. We already heard some of the tweets because he just read them, uh, but I'll read this one right here uh, from Sunny Lou. He says, China just announced to put decarbonization on carbon neural into the next five years national plan, like what well, blockchain was put in the same plan of last one. Everyone can see what blockchain's position is today. Luckily, VeChain started this initiative since 2018 with BYD and DNVL. I believe that blockchain and VeChain can really change this sector and bring it to the next level, which has been floating for many years. The key change will be to digitize an individual's effort to sustainability. And education is not enough for sure, but incentives will do. It says, VeChain, VeExchange is modified to become the foundation of DeFi. And we've already read that. And here's your Hedera hash graph. New Hedera network nodes and decentralization update, Zane Group, Standard Bank, and FPOS. Uh, an essential aspect of Hedera's path towards full decentralization is network expansion through the establishment and management of new network nodes on Hedera. While these nodes are currently run solely by Hedera governing council members, the plan is to eventually allow anyone who wants to earn H bars for contributing towards Hedera network consensus. Hedera Hashgraph LLC is excited to announce that the mainnet has expanded from 16 nodes to 18 nodes with the inclusion of Standard Bank and FPulse. During this release, the temporary Zane Group node will migrate to Zane Group's on-premises data center and be managed by their IT teams supporting Hedera's decentralized goals. Now, as outlined in the Hedera Hashgraph white paper, the Hedera's network expansion plan begins with permission nodes limited to Hedera council members. The network will expand further into hundreds of permission nodes by parties outside of the council, and then eventually having thousands of permissionless nodes run by anyone who would like to participate in contributing to the network consensus and earn H bars. Ladies and gentlemen, if that is not bullish news, I don't know what to tell you. But we need to wrap this thing up. I want to thank you. I want to give you gratitude. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just entered the crypto candy shop and now it is time for you to exit ladies and gentlemen join the patreon group accelerate your learning curve you know who this is this is your boy brandon aka the crypto godfather aka the stellar king aka the crypto wizard aka the prettiest man in crypto investigate truth on your own terms